Hello everyone, I'm back again today finally. It's been a while since I've done a video but Dean has been telling me off that I need to make one. So this is going to be a quick update on my stuff as Dean has done already so we'll pop to it. So I suppose the first update you've seen obviously are videos of sword fighting up at Stafford Castle and, and things like that. If you've seen some of the photos you'll you might have noticed my trousers but I've actually dyed them now. I got myself some dye and this is what they look like now. They're a lot more sort of accurate to to the film, I think. Might be, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, they look a lot better, darker. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about that, really. So next up, you've probably seen Dean has already shown you his mannequin that he made. Um, so I thought I would give it a go myself. Dean helped me take myself up and then we obviously cut it off. I just, I've literally just filled it now. You probably can't see it behind me, but I will bring it in in a second. Oh God, it's heavier than I thought. Uh, okay, so this is the mannequin. It's really heavy, but you can see it's, it's really good to see my costume from a different perspective. So yeah, I really like it. It's, it's turned out better than I thought. It's nice and sturdy. So I don't think it's gonna be collapsing when I'm putting guns and everything like that on it. So the next update I have for you is my gun. You've probably seen in the pictures, we've got that one, which is a pretty sturdy, it's a really nice gun. Sturdy wood and metal and stuff. Um, I wanted to try and get something a bit more screen accurate, so I ordered a pistol for three pounds. That... I'll post some pictures around of, of the old one. Um, and I've actually converted it to try and make it a bit more I haven't finished it yet, but let's try and make it a bit more, uh, again, less toy-like, like my sword. Quite happy with it, but it still needs a bit of work to, to finish it off, but yeah, it's a bit more it's a bit more accurate. It's got the actual thing at the bottom there that he has in the film and things like that. So that's the gun. Next up, I don't think I've shown you the sword since I first did it. So I've done a bit of modifications to it again. Um, and I've actually wrapped some leather around the handle there. I don't know how well the camera picks that up, but just a minute, I've got, I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna redo everything on this sword and, and make it a bit better. I've resprayed the blade, um, and surprisingly, as, as Dean mentioned, these things hold up really well. It's only got like a few few dinks and dents and stuff. There's nothing nothing major. I thought again, I thought it would have broke by now with with how hard we were we were hitting them. So. That's the sword. I suppose, I suppose that's it for the, the costume. I'm gonna turn my camera this way a bit. There we go. And um, I suppose that's it for the costume side of things. Um, like the stuff that I'm actually wearing now. But I'm attempting to make my own wig, which I will bring in. If you follow us on Facebook, you'll have seen this already. But if not, this is what I've got so far. It's just like three dreadlocks stitched into the top braided into the back and we've got some loose hair around that obviously when I've stitched all the other dreadlocks in it'll it'll look hopefully all right we've got the side ponytail there that he has and the another sail needle so I will eventually get around to doing that but it's I need about 20 odd dreadlocks and they take forever to make so that'll be a long time yet <laughs> oh there's one more thing I need to show you if I can find the bloody things had a little accident with one of my rings at the Comic Con. The flower ring actually snapped the bottom bit. It's probably not going to focus, but yeah, the bottom bit snapped off. I was going to try five of these things, but one of them snapped off. So I needed to get a new one. And also, this uh, stolen ring has also gone a bit silver, and it's kind of just. I need a new one. So I asked around for a bit and someone actually had some spare master replica ones which are screen accurate, so even better. So that's the new flower ring. So there you go, it's with three diamonds and it's it's screen accurate, so that's a lot better. And we also have a new stolen ring. That one is the new one, the master replicas version, which again is screen accurate. This one is the costume base, cheap one that's, uh, it lasted me well. It's, it was a good enough ring, but it's just faded a lot. 
and I hopefully have a new one of these on the way soon, which is which will be more screen accurate. So yeah, we'll hopefully post a few more videos more regularly now, and um, follow us on Facebook if you don't already, please. Thank you. So I will see you guys in the next video. Which if we just compare them two. You'll see that the one on the right is wait left. I'm all backwards. I'm confused. Oh. I'm dropping things. Dean and Steph got me these. Dean's amazing. He got me these. Oh my god. They're the nicest things ever. Oh. Just put this in the video. But yeah, I've done a done a little update and probably I've respread it. <laughs> I've resprayed the blade.